Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at the Beetlejuice Simulator Sensual Haunting, available for PC on Steam. As developer Lesson of Passion has continued to remake and re-release games from their catalog, we've had some ups and downs. Living with Temptation was a good initial release that eventually had the Life Gone Wilder expansion added along with a whole new expansion, Wild Weekends. The fact that all of this is included with the purchase price makes it one of the better new Steam releases of the past year. How does the remake of 2015's Central Haunting measure up? The premise is pretty straightforward. A family moves into a haunted house and you play as the ghost doing the haunting. You have two powers to help you interact with the world, poltergeist and mental. Poltergeist allows you to interact physically, whereas mental allows you to touch the minds of those around you. As you use your skills, they will sometimes increase regardless of if you pull them off successfully or not. Each time slot, you are given the choice of which room to interact with. What you are able to do depends on the time of day and who else is in the room with you. Some scenarios are automatic cutscenes, and there are situations that you have to resolve correctly to reach some of the five different endings. Graphically, this feels a lot like a visual novel with some of the sexual interactions being fully animated with sound. Transitioning into a room for events can feel laggy and clunky at times, making sensual haunting currently feel much less polished than living with temptation. Add in the fact that there is less content, fewer endings, and a much shorter story even though both games canonically take place over a month. And it's easy to see why sensual haunting has a lower price point than living with temptation. Flavor-wise, this is a mostly heterosexual harem supernatural fantasy with lesbian, group, toys, sharing, transformation, mind control, magic, power exchange, and winning over someone else's spouse. Different endings do require certain scenes, but some scenes, like those with sharing, can be avoided completely. In its current form, this is a shorter game where you can probably unlock everything in about four hours. Unlike Living with Temptation, the original Sensual Haunting had no expansions, so I'm not sure if we should expect any additional content to be added. It would be welcome, but then so would reducing the lag in between selecting rooms and scenes. So if you're looking for a supernatural harem with a splash of the Notori flavor, and you don't mind this being a shorter game, absolutely check out Sensual Haunting. Fortunately, there is a free demo to try out on the Steam page if you are on the fence. Let me know what you think. Why are there not more titles where you play as a ghost? It seems that given how innately voyeuristic games in this industry are, that would be a no-brainer. Hold on, do ghosts even have brains? Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.